Hey, Mom. Hey, Alec. Can I ask her a favor? Sure. What can I do for you? Can you teach me how to make something? My friends are coming over, and I'd like to be uh, a pretty, pretty good host for them. Okay. Let's see. What would you like to make? Uh, what do you th uh, suggest? Hmm. What do you think about with some Buckeye bars? That sounds appropriate. Okay. Well, let's do it then. I'll tell you what. Why don't I get the recipe out? and have you bring some of the ingredients over to us. Okay. Um, we need some confectioner sugar. Okay. We need some peanut butter. Of course. I've got margarine over here. Can you get the brown sugar? Of I'll grab the vanilla extract. And we need a bag of chocolate chips. The semi-sweet ones would be best. You need these? Yeah, that would be great. Okay. And then if you can also grab a mixing bowl and some measuring cups. Um, got it. Got it right here. And a bowl, big bowl. Thank you. Please. I think I'm going to have you do the peanut butter because it is my least favorite job. Yeah, kind of figured. And we're going to need two cups of peanut butter. Of course. Okay. So how, um... Uh, What's that, Alec? I mean, peanut butter, I would need two cups in here. So you're going to have to use a spoon and just get it as close as even as possible. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And then we'll pour that in here. I'm going to do this confectioner sugar, which we need two and a half cups of that. And then I believe we need a half a cup of brown sugar. So we'll mix all of that in a little bit of vanilla and mix it up, and that makes the base of the peanut butter bars. That's the peanut butter mixture. And what about the chocolate chips? Oh, we'll be doing that a little bit later. That's what we melt down to do the, um, oh, so we melt down and we make it as the frosting. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Alex, so why don't you go ahead and start measuring the peanut butter. Of course. Um, two cups is what I'll need. Put it into this bowl. And I will do the half a cup of brown sugar, lightly packed. And then we need two and a half cups of confectioner sugar that I'll put in. Since I'm using a half cup measure, I'll have to do it five times. Okay, so don't talk to me, I'll lose count. Love confectioner sugar. It makes such a mess. <laughs> um, Don't worry. We'll clean it up afterwards. You want a half a cup of margarine. That's one stick of margarine. Of course. So the entire thing? Yes. The entire stick. Alright, take it so long with the peanut butter. It's really, really sticky. Yeah, you are kind of slow there. Huh. <laughs> and then you need a half teaspoon of um, vanilla. Or there's some. Okay, so now that we have all the ingredients in here, Alec, we're going to start to mix this up. And we do want to mix it um, until it's all incorporated. Um, kind of it'll look, you know, it'll be like a dough. It won't be real thin. But you want to make sure you don't see any of the powdery um, confectioner sugar any longer. That's when you know it's done. Okay, I was going to ask, uh, when did you want, what did you want, how long until you yeah. need to finish And up? always make sure you start on low because as you can see, the confectioner sugar is it's, flying everywhere. Yeah, it's like a little bit And if you started it up on high, it would have, you would have had more confectioner sugar on the counter than you would in the bowl. So then you can put it up a little higher. Yeah, so then, you know that all the butter is getting incorporated. And some of the little dough is already flying yeah. out. Yeah, see? It's a lot of fun. Okay, so now that you have this dough, you want to shut off your mixer. Let's put it off to the side. Grab that pan that you so nicely sprayed with Pam for us. Oh, I have it here. Of course. And then we are going to, this is going to be the bottom layer. For our Buckeye bars. So. For your Buckeye bars. That's right. And then you're going to use the spoon, thank you, and you're going to just press it down with the back of the spoon to make the bottom. So it's nice and even? Yep. And as you're doing it, if you see some of the sugar still there, you just kind of want to press it together. All right. Okay. Like right there. Yep. And at some point, remember we washed our hands earlier, so that's a good thing. You can just use your hands because sometimes that's the quickest and easiest way to do it.
Mostly because of the fact that it kept on sticking to the spoon. Yes, <laughs> that too. Okay. Now, once we get this done, we get to do the fun part, and that is melting the chocolate and doing the icing, which will be the top layer. So we'll, what do we do with this then, in the meantime? In the meantime, we're just going to leave it here and um, let it rest until we get the icing made. Or the, um, the frosting? Light. Yeah, it's really just uh, <laughs> melted um, semi-sweet chocolate pieces. Oh, that's fair enough. So we'll move to the stove and start doing that now. So Alec, um, we're going to start here making the um, second layer, which I refer to as always the frosting. Um, I don't have a double boiler, and you're supposed to be doing this in a double boiler, but I just use a couple of pans, and I can pretty much get the same result. So in the bottom pan here, you just want to make sure it doesn't, it sits on top and it doesn't fall all the way to the bottom because you do have to put water. I fill it about halfway with water, turn it on medium high so it starts to boil. Then you're going to cut, and this is going to use the entire um, bag of semi sweet pieces. So you're I, going to put these in so that they'll start to boil and melt. I gotta ask, can yeah. you use any other types of chocolate chips besides that one or no? You know, you could. Um, the um, normal Buckeye bar is semi sweet pieces, but I've seen people use milk chocolate as well. So you definitely can if that's what you like better. Um, you do want to be careful though when you're melting the chocolate and you don't ever want to leave it because you can burn the chocolate very quickly. That's one of the reasons why you always do chocolate with a double boiler because um, the double boiler keeps that, the water keeps like a layer of resistance. If you put it right onto um, the heat, you'll burn it and it, or you'll, it'll get too hot too quickly and your chocolate will go solid. It won't go smooth and um, smooth for on the top so you can actually ice. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Is there a certain amount of uh, water that you need to put in there or? I, I just fill it up about halfway so that you have plenty of room for it to boil underneath and get hot enough. And how long does this usually take? You know, it's probably five minutes, but you want to keep moving the chocolate chips around in order to see how it's going. One of the other things I like to do is I like to take a towel because when you go to pull this off, it's going to be a wet at the bottom and you don't want any of the moisture to get on your first layer. And secondly, it's going to start to melt, but there's still going to be a few little lumps in it and you're going to keep stirring it because you want all the lumps out when you go to uh, put the second layer on top. So you can make it nice and even like the That's first layer. That's right. That's right. Now this will take a little bit of time, so we'll just keep going here. Okay, so it's really, really um, smoothing out here. So we're getting very close to when we're going to pull it out. One thing too, when you pull it off, make sure you turn off the, the so you have a Stone. open flame there, so make sure you turn it off. Okay. Alrighty, so we're going to turn it off. You're going to bring it over here. You're going to really stir it up real good. Make sure to get rid of the lumps. Get rid of the lumps, that's right. And then you're going to put this in here to ice. Okay, now that we have this top layer done and it's all beautifully iced, we're going to put it in the fridge so the chocolate sets up in about 30 minutes and then you can pull it out when the chocolate is nice and set up and cut them into little squares and serve them to your guests. So that's it? That's it. But since I know that you wanted to try these a little early and there's the magic of filming, we have one already done here. We can cut up and we can test it and see how they taste. So let me cut the, cut the square up for you. 